All right, thank you, Paul. Well, turning now to the coronavirus pandemic and its far reaching impacts on all of our lives, especially financially. Baltimore City's Health Commissioner continues to warn people wear your masks properly and avoid crowds. It comes as 385 new coronavirus cases are reported in our state. That's the bad news, but the good news, the positivity rate fell yet again. Now, despite that, Baltimore City Schools plan to lay off hundreds of workers in the face of a budget shortfall. And WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in East Baltimore with the concerns of teachers and parents. Mike? Denise, some teachers and support staff will be losing their jobs. It will save the city school system almost $4 million, but at what cost? I do hope this won't be permanent or long term, but it's still a lot of influx and a lot of transition to put us through. Anthony Avery is one of the more than 400 teachers and other Baltimore City School employees who got the sudden notice they will be laid off just days from now. As of right now, myself and many others have to approach things like October 2nd will be our last day. The employees, some of whom work full time hours, are classified as temporary by Baltimore schools. We're essential. We we're not something to toss away. We're not something to throw away. We're not expendable. Their jobs are being cut as the school's CEO fears a more than $20 million budget shortfall. As WJZ reported last week, the system is freezing hiring and warned in this letter of more cuts ahead. Avery, who teaches at Hamilton Elementary Middle, worries about his students. Children don't do well with that type of transition. Even if you have a substitute come in, it's hard for one day. So imagine losing a fraction of your teachers and faces that you're used to seeing every morning all of a sudden without notice. The term temp is really disingenuous for how integral these staff members are. Kate Sam has a daughter at the same school and was stunned by the layoffs. Now is not the time to further disinvest in education. Now is the time that children should come first, not last. And the outpouring has been just phenomenal. Avery hopes a last minute deal can save these hundreds of jobs. If not, he fears the city's students will pay a high price for short term savings. I'm not angry at the city. I'm just disappointed that this is where we are. I, you can't tell me there's not another solution we can find. And he is a computer teacher who has been with city schools in various capacities for six years. There are tentative plans to hold a rally in support of these educators at city school headquarters a week from tonight. Live at City Springs Elementary, Mike Halgren, WJZ.